The Dell XPS 15 is the latest addition to the firm's luxury work range of laptops, and it's been slimmed down and improved with some sleeker design and a new OLED screen option. On the inside, the XPS still relies on muscular Intel 11th Gen Silicon and discrete NVIDIA graphics, and on the outside, it looks and feels as good as ever. But, as ever, the XPS 15 is not cheap. In the configuration we've reviewed, you'll have to pay £2,249 or 2200 $249 to get your hands on this machine, and that's a mid-range XPS 15 configuration. Since the name of the laptop stays the same with each new edition, this is the 9510 model which arrived late in 2021 and is the most recent XPS 15. Not much has changed about the XPS 15's broad design, but this remains one of the best-looking laptops around. The base and lid are aluminium, the keyboard deck is carbon fiber, and the XPS 15 is available in two color schemes, the silver and black I've covered or a white finish. Dell's new machine weighs between 1.8 kg and 1.96 kg, depending on the specification, and it's 18 mm thick. Those are impressive figures for a powerful 15.6 inches notebook. Despite that, it's easily one of the strongest notebooks in this category and is ideal for life on the road. You can find plenty of lighter laptops but rarely will they match up to the specs and build on offer with the XPS 15. Above the XPS 15's display there's a 720p webcam that supports Windows Hello, and the power button includes a fingerprint reader, so you're well set for biometrics. In some other areas, the design is more restrictive. The left-hand edge has two thumbs Thunderbolt 4 ports, and the right-hand side has a USB 3.2 General 2 connector and a rare SD card reader, but that's it for ports. If you want HDMI or a full-size USB, you'll need to use the included adapter, and there's no wired internet. This is a shame, particularly the USB port, considering the 18mm dimension of the laptop, but a move to only USB-C is very common now. Dell XPS machines usually have satisfying keyboards, and the latest XPS 15 doesn't buck that trend. Its buttons are fast, crisp, and satisfying, with enough travel to feel solid and a reassuringly firm base. The keys are easily good enough to handle a day of typing, and the lack of a number pad is the only serious layout issue. The Dell XPS 15 has a vast trackpad with an accurate, smooth surface. It's got full gesture support, and its inbuilt buttons are snappy. The only way you'll get anything better is by connecting a USB mouse. The XPS 15 9510 is available with three different screens, with two IPS options returning from last year alongside a new OLED panel. All three have a 16-10 aspect ratio, which delivers more vertical space for web browsers and documents when compared to conventional 16-9 displays. The laptop I've reviewed has the pricier of the two IPS panels, a 15.6 inches unit with a 3840 by 2400 resolution. It makes a big first impression. Its brightness level of 457 nits is huge and means this display works well indoors and outdoors, even if it falls short of Dell's quoted 500 nit figure. That brightness level combines with the 0.26 nit black point to deliver a contrast ratio of 1758 to 1. That's fantastic for an IPS screen, and it means that the XPS 15 serves up huge vibrancy and depth. Surprisingly, the display display doesn't quite stack up in the color department. The screen has a mediocre delta E of 4.36 which is fine for everyday work but not good enough for tasks that require near-perfect accuracy. It's a shame because the panel displays 100% of the sRGB gamut and nearly hits that mark in the Adobe RGB and DCI-P3 spaces, so it's easily got the color breadth for those situations. Dell's Premier Color app can switch between color modes but that doesn't improve the delta E. And while certain colorimeters can calibrate this panel, that only improved the delta E to 3.56, and that's still not quite good enough. Don't get me wrong, this is still an excellent screen. It's bright, punchy and produces loads of colors, so it's still good enough to tackle most tasks. But if you need color accuracy, Dell's OLED alternative will likely be better. Happily, the Dell XPS 15 has superb audio gear no matter the screen. The speakers sit on either side of the keyboard and supply loud punchy and clear sound. They're some of the best speakers you'll find on a laptop, and slightly overbearing bass is my only criticism. 
This XPS 15 9510 has an 8 core Intel Core i7-11800H processor, and it sits alongside 32GB of dual channel DDR4 memory and a 1TB SSD. Connectivity comes from dual band Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1, and graphical grunt from a mid range NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050T with a modest 45W power limit. The i7-11800H is an impressive bit of silicon. Silicon. In Geekbench's multi-core test the Dell scored 9008, and it managed a result of 6214 in PC Mark 10. The Geekbench score is beyond what AMD's popular Ryzen 7 5800H can manage, and the Intel chip equals AMD's popular silicon in PC Mark 10. And, with reasonable SSD read and write speeds of 3440 MBs and 3252 MBs, you can be sure that the XPS will be and load applications quickly. It all bodes well for real-world use. Dell's machine handles any everyday work task alongside tough multitasking situations and dozens of browser tabs. It's got the pace to run photo editing tools, and it can deal with video editing unless you want to do some high-end 4K content creation. It sides through tough situations while making hardly any noise, and the exterior did exhibit some heat, but it's never too much, and the aluminium around the base was never uncovered comfortably warm. There's not much that this machine can't do, you'll only get more speed if you buy a Core i9 or Ryzen 9 chip or wait for the XPS 15's inevitable 12th gen upgrade. The graphics core is less impressive. The low-power RTX 3050T scored 18338 in 3D Mark Knight Raid. That's better than any integrated core and it's good enough to lend a hand in creative apps, but you'll only be playing casual games and eSports titles at 1080p here. Still, it's more than a lot of laptops come with now. The latest Huawei MateBook X Pro 2022 is a little smaller at 14.2 inches but is a similar price yet you'll be relying on Intel Iris Xe graphics. Above you can see how the Dell XPS 15 9510 compares to rivals including the Surface Laptop 4, Asus ZenBook Duo 14, Huawei MateBook 16 and MacBook Air M1. The Dell's 86 watt hours battery lasted for 10 hours and 56 minutes in our usual video playback benchmark with the screen at 120 nits, and in a PC Mark 10 work test, the Dell XPS 15 lasted for 9 hours and 4 minutes. Those are reasonable results for a powerful 15.6 inches laptop, and you'll get through the working day with this machine unless you really push the hardware. If you do want to make the most out of the internals, though, be prepared for longevity to drop. With our work test running with the display at full brightness the Dell lasted for 6 hours and 33 minutes, and a gaming test saw lifespan drop to just over 2 hours. The Dell I've reviewed costs £2,249 in the UK and US$2,249 in the US, and is a mid-range specification when viewed in Dell's wider range. If you want the model with the bolder OLED display, you're in luck. It costs £2,218 in the UK and US$2,299 in the US, so the price hardly changes. The cheapest XPS 15 costs £1,849 or 1499 United States dollars and retains the Core i7-11800H processor and RTX 3050T GPU. That rig has a non-touchful HD display alongside 16 gigabytes of memory and a 512 gigabytes SSD. However, there appears to be a Core i5 model with 8 gigabytes RAM that's only available via John Lewis for 1499 pounds. If you don't want to buy from Dell, you you can get the XPS 15 9510 from the likes of Amazon, John Lewis Curry's Laptops Direct Theory and Airbuyer. In the US you can buy it from Amazon, Newegg, Walmart and Best Buy. This option is more akin to the latest Huawei MateBook X Pro 2022. That does have a high-res touchscreen and similarly impressive specs but the screen is smaller at 14.2 inches and there's no dedicated GPU. The XPS 15 is available with 64GB 
GB of memory and 2 TB SSDs alongside the more powerful Core i9-11900H processor, but be prepared to spend big for those upgrades that fully upgraded XPS 15 is only available with the OLED display and it costs £3,223 or US$3,199. 510 remains one of the best work laptops on the market today. It's slim, light for its size, robust and looks fantastic. It's got loads of processing power, and a great keyboard. Furthermore, you get a vibrant, punchy display that works well indoors or outside, and its battery will see most people through a productive day. It's a superb work notebook for anyone who wants a sleek, powerful machine. Although we'd look elsewhere if you need a machine with perfect color accuracy, lengthy battery life or loads of ports that aren't USB-C.